<gasps> hey, it's me. <gasps> it's me, Jay Evans. Yes, it is. <gasps> you know, it's me, Jay Evans. Now it's time for us to talk the talk. Let's get into this episode. That's right, y'all. It's time for us to talk the talk. And what are we talking about right here, right now? Grab a hold of your seats because today we go on deep. We're talking about Bell Collective. This was episode four, Bad Brunch Behavior. What I saw was a whole lot of foolishness and shenanigans. And we got questions. I got questions. Everybody been talking about it. So what's my main question? Marie and Etsy. Are they in a lesbian relationship? Is something not right between these two? Um, Marie went live on Instagram with Melody um, under the own Keeping It Real Instagram. And I got to see it. I got a whole lot of stuff. We're going to talk about it. But before I roll into it, let me give this disclaimer. All topics are alleged, and allegedly they are strictly for entertainment purposes. It's alleged and allegedly because I don't know if it's true, and I don't need you coming from me saying, Oh, Jay Evans, I'm going to sue you. No, it's alleged and allegedly. Because the only thing I own outright is this sugar in this little canister jar, okay? And something is a little too sweet. Now, y'all say it for the men, and I can say it because I'm a part of the community. But with these two, something is a little too sweet. And it ain't enough sugar in this canister to talk about how sweet it is between Marie and Etsy. So, we're going to talk about it. But before we roll into that and chop it up like veggies for your um, dressing on a Sunday, let's roll into a word. For my sponsors, and then we're going to come back and we're going to talk the talk and lay it out there because it's a whole lot of shenanigans and foolery. And Etsy acting like she's Marie Man, like the Zappa Rogers song, I wanna be your man, I wanna be your Etsy. Are you Marie's man? Hey, YouTube, what's up? I am Lachelle of Resume Chick. A very proud sponsor of the J Evans underscore talk the talk show on YouTube. Want to know how else you could talk the talk and walk the walk? I'm that chick, resume chick. If you want to level up on your career goals and get a professional resume, interview prep sessions, and so much more, get at me. Um, my website is www.resumechickllc.org. On Facebook, I'm Resume Chick LLC. And on Instagram, I'm underscore resume chick LLC. Back to you, Jay. <gasps> Are you not subscribed to me, Apple Pie? I don't know why. It's a billion, kajillion, zillion videos on YouTube, okay? You might not come across me again. Go ahead and subscribe. Set your notifications and we'll stay connected. You can see when I upload new videos. Click in that description. It has my social media information. It has other videos you can get caught up on. Go to that playlist. It's videos of me running my mouth. <sighs> yes, y'all. Go ahead and subscribe. Hi, are you looking for affordable yet fashionable clothing? Look no further. Give us a look at www.bendthetrendbtq.com. You can also check us out on social media via Instagram at bendthetrendbtq and also on Facebook, bendthetrendbtq, where we carry women's clothing, accessories, and shoes. Now back to Jay Evans. Let's talk the talk. Okay, y'all, so we ready to roll this thing off like the Yin Yang twins when they singing Yin Yang in this thing. We about to be in this thing talking about this show. Now, Marie went live with Melody um, from the other show on the OWN Network, um, Love, Marriage, Huntsville. I think Love and Marriage, Huntsville. Um... And she got to talk with her, okay? If you didn't see it, I'm about to do a recap of that because she told or exposed a lie. <laughs> yeah, Marie, you told a lie. And she exposed herself. Let me show y'all the little flyer because now I do know how to insert pictures into my video. So you know it's on now. You know it's on.
Okay? So y'all see that picture? Y'all see Jay Evans talk to talk? It's not lying to y'all. They went live. Marie was under the own Keeping It Real Instagram account and went live with Melody. Now, the lie that she told... Y'all remember when the show first kicked off and Marie said that she was married to her husband previously. They got a divorce and then she said they got remarried. I'm not making this up. I can't make this up. Go back and watch the episodes if you don't believe me. But that's what Marie said and that's why we are going to get to the bottom of her lies. Because on the live with Melody, Marie said... Um, when Melody asked her about her marriage, she said, we were married, we got divorced before the ink cooled or dried off on the divorce papers. We were back together, like together dating, together being together, but not married. And when she asked her again, so y'all are not remarried, Marie said no. So my question is, Marie, why would you lie about that? You could have just said that, like, we were married, we got divorced, and we're dating. So that explains why. Remember on the last episode when she said he didn't come home last night? Like Tony Braxton singing, Love Should Have Brought You, You, You Home. Y'all know, like, Lucky Day singing that song that he remixed Tony uh, Braxton and Babyface in uh, Love Should Have Brought You Home too because he did it for his new song. Um, love they have to bring him home, Marie, because he's not with you. You up here lying. It's a lot of lying going on, Apple Pie. Why would you do that? You, you didn't make me dick. See, I done got worked up over your lies, baby. I done knocked my glass off. It's a lot of sugar shaking in your tank, Marie. So that's why you had Etsy there. Okay, and he was like, why is Etsy here? Right, why is Etsy here? So, is Etsy your man? Is Etsy playing zaps to your Roger? Is that what it is, Apple Pie Marie? Do you really like Apple Pie? <laughs> Not the kind we like to eat. Not the kind I call my subscribers the other kind, Marie. Now, this explains a lot. This explains why he, she says she has her own house. He has his own house. When they got married, they still had their own houses. No, <laughs> allegedly, he probably is not living with you because a lot of people were saying that that y'all weren't married. So is that why you exposed it? Because it's somebody um, that's going in on her. Somebody pulls receipts about her. Somebody, um... It's somebody that goes in on her. And everything this person says has been surfacing and popping up like uh, characters in a pop-up book. Y'all remember when we was kids when we used to read a pop-up book and the stuff used to just pop up? Okay, everything this person is saying about you is coming true. Because it's a lot of people that know people that know people um, in Jackson and they saying that you are fake. They are saying that your business, you out here stunning and carrying on, and you being a little too extra. But are you and Etsy together? Because Etsy acts like she is your man, and you telling Etsy uh, uh, to tell your husband, tell him why you got every right to be here. Don't you got every right? And she like, yeah. So is she got every right to be there because she's the zap to your Roger? Not like zapping Roger singing, but the zap to your Roger that's zapping you Sugar. Y'all see this sugar? It, is that what it is, Marie? Now, you out here, also, she addressed on the live with Melody while she turned the Instagram comments off. Let me tell you something. If you got to be the kind of person where you dish it out, you got to be able to take it, okay? Now, you can't handle the comments. You and your feelings. You act a bunny hop, jackrabbit fool with everybody else. But when people say something back to you, oh, it's an issue. Now, you didn't have that many people comment on your page, sis, okay? Your page wasn't, like, explosive like Oprah Winfrey page. Your page wasn't, like, big, like, uh, Taraji page, like, Mary J page. You know, they have a big following, okay? Um... Sis, I don't even know if you got 6,000 people following you. And the comments, it wasn't like you were getting a lot of comments, but apparently I guess you couldn't handle the comments. So I really think Marie want to be like NeNe Leakes. You know, you acting drum, 
you 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 just too much. And she even addressed that. Like they're editing stuff on the show. Okay, they can edit some things on the show, but ultimately you're out here acting a fool. So they recording you acting a fool. Every time Letitia have a brunch, you wanna act stupid. You wanna question somebody. You wanna just you and Etsy is like your backup dog, okay? We gonna get into that. We gonna get into this brunch, but we we talking about this these these lesbianic games that you were Etsy out here. Let me give y'all some. Sh I can say it because I'm part of the community, so I can talk about her being a dyke on a hike allegedly. You you see this sugar? You and Etsy out here. Playing these lollipop games, movies. okay. Um, but this explains a lot. This explains why your ex husband remember, you said you were remarried to Cedric again, but you're not. You said it, Jay Evans ain't saying that you said it on live with Melody. This explains why he's not coming home. This explains why Etsy is pulling up like she's a uh, in a pimp movie, like she taking us back to Superfly and she pulling up on you and she all in your relationship. This explains a lot why Etsy is always like a little poodle. Like you said, uh, Dr. Antoinette is Latrice's poodle. No, you pulling uh, Etsy chain like she Estro in the Jensen's and um, what's the dog? Estro and Elroy. Yeah, that's how y'all acting like y'all a dynamic duo, but y'all not dynamic. So, this explains a lot. This is why your husband, your ex-husband, don't want to come around. You got Etsy. Is Etsy married? Now, I, I did a little digging. We saw, like, a couple of pictures, okay, of a man. I don't know if it's her boyfriend, if it's her husband. We saw a couple of pictures. As a matter of fact, let's go to the pictures since I know how to put pictures in now and I like it. Let's go to these pictures. So y'all saw that right. This is my thing. Why would you put power couple on a picture with your friend? I understand y'all are friends. Y'all are business partners. Y'all see this sugar shake? Why would you put power couple on there? Do something I seem a little right? Do something seem a little bit off? Not a little bit, a lot. I don't even have enough sugar in this canister. For the amount of sugar we're being poured. But power couple? You could say business partners. Phenomenal business partners. Great business partners. You got to put power couple. Do I need to show y'all again? It says power couple. You, you don't believe me? Did you see when I just showed? I'm going to show you again, baby. Power couple. Pay attention to this Instagram post. Power couple. I can't make this up. It's right there. Y'all see? Y'all see I'm able to put pictures in a clip now. It's right there. Okay? It. This is all I can do. Shake this sugar, baby. Because this, this ain't sweet and low. They not sweet and low. It's a lot going on. Are y'all in a lesbianic? <laughs> I don't even know if that's a word I made it. Uh, are y'all in a lesbianic, a lesbian... Relationships, I, it's a whole lot of foolishness going on. Um, but that would explain a lot. So we had to get into that. Now we're going to roll into the rest of the episode and then we're going to come back to Marie and the bad brunch behavior. Now let me tell y'all what I'm getting tired of. Now this is the fourth episode. I'm getting tired of Tambra. Because when she come on, it's me. Wake up, Tamara talking, this me. Wake up, Tamara still talking about her eggs, this me. Tamara still talking about a relationship from 16 years ago. 
Tam was still talking about being on the radio. She went, Tam, bro, you, you're boring. It's the same thing. If they come back for another season, I think we need to replace Tambra. And then, your voice, you be talking so loud. Why are you talking so loud? You're not on the radio. Why are you talking so loud? And then, this episode, you kept doing this awkward laugh. And um, Now, she met with a colleague a friend over lunch to discuss her career. She was talking loud at the table. You're not on the radio, sis. Okay? You're not Donna Summer singing on the radio. Oh, oh, oh. I'm tired of you being so loud. Then she met with her ex, Damon. It was a lot of awkward laughing. And she, <laughs> I'm tired of you, Tamara. And you just, they bring the food out. <laughs> Y'all came at the right time. <laughs> What is wrong with you? Why are you just laughing and carrying on and whatnot? We need um, some new stories from you because this, you're boring me. You're putting me to sleep. You are a sleeping pill, a snooze fest. I, I can't take another week of you, Tambra, talking about the same stuff. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. I... I don't want to hear it, sis, because you keep talking about the same stuff. You boring. <sighs> now, we didn't see a lot of Latrice this episode. Latrice just said she didn't have time to go to the brunch. She was working, you know, on her stuff with Goddess Locks. And Dr. Antoinette did meet with Letitia. They went to the Civil Rights Museum and Letitia... <sighs> okay, let me say this. So far, <laughs> my favorites on this show are Latrice and Dr. Antoinette. They are good friends. They have a cool friendship. Um, to me, they're more sensible. Now, Latrice is allegedly a real millionaire. And I'm going to say I, I, I believe that because she has a real company. Okay? Dr. Antoinette is a real doctor. She's a dentist. She has, you know... She's setting up her practice. I think she's currently working for a practice, but she's setting up her own practice. So we know uh, if they're not far off from being millionaires, they're already for those two. Marie, uh, you and Etsy. Uh, Tamara has never said she's a millionaire. Now, allegedly, they say Tamara is still living at home. They never show you at a place, sis, they're saying that you keep acting like you're going over your parents' house for lunch and when the camera's cut off, you go right back in and go in your room and sit in your room like Brandy. That's what they're saying, sis. I'm not saying it. That's what the streets are saying. That's what everybody's saying. And Letitia, okay, your business, we want to know what business do you have besides saying you have a women empowerment brunch because that's not a business per se. That's just having brunches, you know, y'all come together. What are you selling? Where? What profit are you making? Unless you're selling tickets to these brunches and people are crazy enough to pay for them, then that would make them a bunny hop jackrabbit fool, not even a delicious uh, Nestle bunny. Now, she did meet um, up to talk about, like she's saying, she's buying the block. And this is my thing. Uh, when she was saying that, I was like, uh, first off, the block has to be for sale. Second off, you really thought that that was going to be cheap because the buildings might be not open or they might look ran down, but uh, that's not a cheap area. So when she was saying that, this is Jay Evans. If you don't believe me, click in that description. Go back and watch the other videos of me running my mouth where I'm like, what business do you have? But what business are you talking about opening up now? She did meet with them um, on Ferris Street, and she said that on the bottom, she wants to open up a resource center and a brunch center, and upstairs, she would do, like, her other business or whatever. What 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 businesses do you have? Because we're on the show to talk about these women, okay, having businesses, being bosses, being millionaires or the potential but you have not said what do you do as far as your other business you haven't dropped a name latrice says 
God is locked is my business. Y'all see how she said the name of the business and what she does. She has hair. Her hair is in vending machines. She has her own salon. She sells goddess locks there. Okay. She's identified and pointed out what she does. Dr. Antoinette is a dentist. She's opened up her own practice. She's graduated. She has a degree. She's telling you the name, what she does. Y'all see how Latrice and Dr. Antoinette do that? And Leticia, you just come and say you have some businesses. What businesses do you have besides saying you're the owner and CEO of the brunch? Okay, if that's it, then I'm going to start um, my own brunch because I can just go ahead and cook some stuff and invite people over to eat. I got a business. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, Now, they burst her bubble when they said she met with... um. An appraiser, um, somebody else, I forgot what he was doing too, but he was a part of it. And then the guy that was Tamara's cousin, that's um, a part of something. Anyway, uh, he said the building is not for sale. You should have knew that. Did you see a for sale sign on that building, sis? None of those buildings down there have a for sale sign, okay? I used to work um, down there by that same street, sis, Okay. None of those businesses have for sale signs. So what made you think I'm going to buy up the block? The block ain't for sale and the block ain't hot. Like the hot boys rapping on the block. No, it's not Juvie and them rapping on the block saying the block is hot. Now, they said in a few years you can talking about purchasing it, but you would have to lease it. And then later on, you would have to purchase it because the people, I guess, want to make sure that this is a productive business. Um, it's a historic district, so there are certain things that you can and cannot do. It's a certain look that has to be kept up. Did y'all know that when something is in a historic district, like if you buy a house in a historic district, in a historic area, they have certain rules. Like Bellhaven has a historic district there in Jackson. If you buy a house in that area, there are certain things as far as the color of your house, um, keeping your yard up, certain things you have to fall in line with. So if you want to buy up the block and it don't seem like you got the coins, okay, it don't seem like you're going to be able to do that. Since now they told you to lease it, it would be half a million dollars. And then they said it would be like another 900 to half a million. So the whole price came in around two million. And when they were saying that this you, like the cuckoo clock in the cartoon, oh, wow, oh, did you think that this building was just going to be a hundred thousand dollars? Because you see, the building uh, might look ran down, but it's valuable, sis. So stop playing these games like you're going to buy Fair Street up, and then if you realize you're saying I'm going to have another brunch, you could have just text it, just Skype it. I'm tired of you talking about some you going to have brunches. This like your second brunch that has failed and you want to brunch. Just say it. It don't take that long to just say it. I'm tired of y'all going to brunch. I'm tired of Tamara talking about the same stuff. I'm tired of you talking about you going to buy up the block and when they just told you that one building was $2 million. So how much you think it's going to cost to buy up the block that's not even for sale, baby? How much do you think it's going to cost if that one billion is $2 million? Somebody show uh, Letitia this video. I'll wait on the answer. If that one building is two million and you saying you wanna buy up the block and then you keep saying um generational wealth and y'all are breaking genera generational curses, you're breaking a generational curse, you the curse because you out here being fake and phony. Y'all stop with this carrying on and whatnot. <sighs> I can't with you. I, I just can't. Now, she said that she's got some females with deeper pockets. Sis, no, you don't. Okay? We know La Latrice and Dr. Antoinette got it. But uh, from what we seeing, we know you ain't got it. We definitely know uh, Tamara ain't got it. And we know Marie likes to lie a lot. Uh, so, how you going to buy up the block, <laughs> Letitia? That's what I want to know. Maybe you can buy the stop sign on the corner and stop in the name of love like the Supremes used to sing because you're giving me too much fakeness, sis, and I'm tired of it. I I'm just tired of it. It's tired. It's through. And... Uh, okay. 
Now we go over to the emergency brunch that Letitia has put together again to make the same announcement again. I'm tired of brunching. I'm tired of hits. I'm tired. Now, at this brunch, Marie came in. Did y'all see Marie outfit? Now, she came in and made a comment about Dr. Antoinette. Now, Dr. Antoinette came in. She gave Etsy a hug. Y'all saw how Marie looked when she... Like, you, you hugging my man. <laughs> like, don't mess with my man. That's what she was looking like. Now, when she tried to hug Marie, Marie, of course, you, you couldn't just hug her and move on you. Oh, your friend not here, so now you can hug me. Not... You know, and Marie had to drop something on Instagram. Let me go to that so y'all can see for yourself. You always being shady. Let's go to that. Okay, so y'all see that? So Antoinette tried to come in and she was like, you know, that's not my situation. She's she's being cool, she's being cordial. Then in Marie's solo confessional, Marie says, well, um, what is she? Oh, she looks like she's dressed for a funeral. Um, no, Dr. Antoinette had her, like, um, gloves on. She had her head. Okay, y'all were brunching. Everybody had on the head. She had a nice head. She was dressed nice. Let's go and see how you looked, Marie. <laughs> because Dr. Antoinette looked nice. Now, if this is a women's empowerment brunch, why were you dressed like you about to walk downtown and sell services for four ninety nine? Let's see what Marie had on. Why would you do that? You didn't have to do that. <sighs> so, Marie, why would you wear this? Okay, the dress, I didn't like it. I didn't like it. I didn't like it. Okay, the dress, you had one whole sleeve, one sleeve this and showing your tattoo. Now, I'm cool with tattoos, okay? But then, when we get to the bottom of your dress, you got this slit all the way up. You said, I guess they supposed to be Jimmy Choo shoes. I think that's what um you supposed to have on. They look like shoes from the hair store on Terry Road. Y'all remember if somebody's in Jackson watching this, y'all remember the hair store on Terry Road that shop, sold the shoes? That's what they look like. Like somebody just glued the feathers on there. Okay, they say you faking and shaking about your shoes because when you said you were trying to show off those um pinkish bottoms, when you tried to display those, they said they were pinkish bottoms mixed with a little burgundy. They were not red bottoms, but Y'all kill me trying to act like a label makes you. That's how you know somebody ain't used to something. Because real people that have real money that are used to it don't keep saying, I'm rich, I got money, I got this, I got this, oh me, oh my, I'm a fool for you, baby. No, they don't do that. So, Marie, why are you out here talking about how Dr. Antoinette, did you see what you had on to a women's empowerment? Why would you do that, Marie? Why, Marie? I got questions, and we need answers. Somebody show Marie this video. Why would you wear that to a brunch and then as a woman with a brand try to tear down another woman, Dr. Antoinette, that was dressed appropriate, that looked nice, that looked correct, but you out here dressed like you finna be in the last two live crew video. Hood rat, hood rat, hood your mama. Why would you wear that? <sighs> but you talking about Dr. Antoinette. Okay, sis.
Hot garbage can. Okay. Really. So, at this point, um, the brunch leads into them discussing um, kind of racial events. Now, Kaylin kind of gets upset and she leaves. And to me, I can sort of get it. Like, Dr. Antoinette, maybe you shouldn't have invited her to the brunch because you knew these ladies are not just the nicest cordial ladies and then if they're bringing up topics like this and then they're saying uh these affirmations from Letitia which are stupid she does it every time it's stupid stuff like just get to the point of them being there that's all you hey I ain't got no money I'm inviting y'all to this tired brunch so I can beg y'all for some money so I can buy a building that I can't afford and again, what other services do you have? And I know y'all not going to be able to do it because half of them women in that room allegedly look like they ain't got no money like that, okay? But, Dr. Antoinette, maybe you should not invite Kaylin. Um, now, Kaylin went out there in the hallway. They came out there. Here come Letitia. You could have just stayed in there being dramatic. Now, they were sharing their experiences as black Americans um, Dealing with racism. Racism still exists. Yes, we still have to deal with it. And a lot of people don't understand that or they don't get it. So, I mean, I get them discussing it. But, uh, Tamara, you ain't even have to bring that up. And then you saying you went to a gas station that was a full-service gas station. I want to know the name of the gas station, okay, sis? Because I used to live in Jackson. I don't know no full-service gas stations where they come out and pump your gas for you. What's the name of it? Anybody living in Jackson or has lived in Jackson, do y'all know the name of this gas station? I'll wait on it because I, <laughs> I don't know none that still do that, but okay. Um, so, you could have just not even brought that up. But again, whatever. So, then Etsy comes um, and stands by Caitlyn. Etsy reminds me of the dog from Cool Joe. Y'all remember that movie Cool Joe? Stephen King wrote the book. A lot of his um books are turned into movies. Y'all remember it was a dog. If you don't remember, it's a dog. This dog goes and he's just walking. He's a normal dog. He goes and he chases. He's chasing something. I don't know if it's a rabbit. I can't remember. It's been a long time since I saw the movie. But basically, he goes into this hole where there are bats. And the bats like bite him how they sort of say what happened with the coronavirus and how we got it. The bat bites him and he turns into like this mad crazy dog after the the bat bite. And so a lady um is with her son. She's she cheats on her husband. It's just different stuff going on. But she ends up at this house and the dog will not let her get out the car. He's in attack mode. That's what Etsy gives me cool joke vibes. Have y'all not saw that? Let me help y'all out. That's what you get me, Etsy. Cool Joe vibes, sis. So... <sighs> That's how you act. So, now, Kaylin, to me, maybe, I like Kaylin. Let me say that first off. I like her. Maybe she should not have even came back in because another lady came out and said, well, you know, they're going to want to know why you left. No, y'all ain't even have to talk about that. Now, um, she does go back in. Dr. Antoinette starts talking and saying, you know, Kaylin feels like this. Around. They should have just left it alone, okay? Now, when she's talking, here come Marie again. You always being messy. You always having a bad vibes, Marie. And I knew Marie was going to try to spin it like this. So, Kaylin is talking and she said, uh-uh, let's stop. It's, it's about uh Letitia and her moment and her announcement. Okay, but y'all been talking. So, y'all want to know why she left? She's explaining it. But, of course, you had to stop. And, of course, I knew you was going to turn into racial um, when she was just like, well, you know, my family doesn't do that. I'm not from that. Then 
she got you together. Kaylin gathered you because she was just like, um, no. She was like, you're nobody. You know, Kaylin wasn't here. Kaylin was not here for it. So, of course, Etsy is standing next to her and Marie. Google me and all this, and here come Etsy. Uh, you don't say this to you. First off, Etsy, I would have told you, why are you standing next to me? Go away, cool, Joe. Go away. You don't roll up on somebody like that. What's wrong with you? You're, you and Marie. That's why people think, y'all, sugar, y'all see this sugar in this canister? It's not enough sugar for me to shake and bake for what y'all got going on. Now, Marie just said last time the doctor Antoinette was Latrice's lap dog. Well, apparently, Etsy is your lap dog because you can't fight your own battles. You can't leave your comments turned on on, on Instagram because you can't handle it. If you dish it, I'll be able to take it. Etsy, go sit down. You're not even a full-time cast member. You standing by your man. You got to stand by Marie. This this how you know Etsy is not a real friend. Because my friends, if I'm doing wrong, guess what? They're going to tell me. If I like it, what they're saying or not, they're going to tell me. And I'm going to tell them. That's just how we are with each other. So as a real friend, you up here upholding her stuff. And you always in some Go sit down, cool Joe. Now... You up there trying to start with this girl and then Marie. No, you leave. No, you get out. It's not your event, baby, to tell nobody to get out. What you need to tell to get out is those tired finger waves that's left over from Missy Rain video. Missy washed them finger waves out in the drain and you scooped them back up and put it on your head. And now you out here shaking your sugar with um <sighs> Etsy. Sis, you tired and through. That woman checked you and you deserved every bit. She got a Nike check and checked you and you deserved every bit of it and I was for it. And it wasn't a racial thing because she talking about, uh, she was like, come here. Oh no, you're not going to tell me to come here. This ain't the 1950s. This ain't that. No. If you saying it across from the room, she said, come here. Y'all see the councilman got up and walked out. Because he didn't want no parts of that foolishness. Now, Letitia, this is the second brunch you've had. Can't you see the pattern? Uh, Marie acting a fool in your brunches. I don't blame Latrice for not coming. Dr. Antoinette, don't go to no other brunch. It's messy, it's catty, and it's petty, sis. And you don't even need your name in this, okay? It's bad enough y'all on the show together and you got to be surrounded by the gruesome twosome that is Marie and Letitia because they uphold each other. Letitia, you always uphold Marie. Etsy going to come and tackle you like a football player for trying to uh, take her woman. That's what's going to happen. Next, they going to have you on the sugar train, sugar gang, baby. Etsy going to be like McGruff the crime dog. You see, she like Cujo. Next, she going to turn into McGruff the crime dog, sis. So, I would suggest you stay out of it, okay? You always upholding Marie. Y'all fake friends, okay? I could have told that from when you had her over your house and she, oh, your house. But, um, Maurice, she gathered you, and then they're saying, allegedly, you're trying to report her to the nursing board. Uh, you better leave, uh, Kaylin alone, Marie, okay? You out here faking and shaking and baking, and ain't baking nothing up but easy bake oven treats. You out here acting a fool for no reason. I'm so sick of you, and when I'm not sick of you, I'm tired of you. So, y'all, that was the foolishness and the shenanigans from Bell Collective for this week. <clears throat> Tell me your thoughts on it if you watched it. If you did not watch it, go ahead and watch it. It's episode four, Bad Brunch Behavior. Click in that description, get caught up on my reviews, and get caught up because I did an interview with Don Robertson, formerly of En Vogue and formerly of Lucy Pearl. It's all listed in the description, baby. Get caught up, y'all. I, I can't make this up. But I want to know, what is everybody else's thoughts on um, Marie and Etsy? Because it seems um, they are a little too close from comfort. And we do know that Marie, your lie was confirmed, sis, when you went on Instagram Live under the own Keeping It Real IG and let us know that you lied about you and your husband, ex-husband, Cedric, being married, divorced, and remarried. You said it. We didn't. So, we found that that you do lie in the streets, have been saying that you um, are lying, and then 
you know, you saying the stuff about your house and you a millionaire, and they saying your house looks like it's the kind of house they would accept on Section 8, that they take a voucher, but you saying, you know, you got so much money, uh, did you see uh, Latrice's house? And she ain't even going on and on about her house. It speaks for itself. So, um, you and, uh, Etsy. I can't make this stuff up, y'all. Y'all go over there and watch Bell Collective. They still give you a good show, but it's a lot of faking and shaking with Marie and Letitia. Letitia, you want to buy back Ferris Street when it's not for sale, and then you acting stunned and surprised when one building is ten, $2 million. $2 million. So you going to buy the block? I don't think they take EBT cards to buy the block. Okay, y'all. So, we've talked the talk. Now, it's time to walk the walk. They give me too much. Buy a uh, Marie and Etsy. <laughs> Sister, you've been on my mind. Y'all going to have a uh, um, Miss Shug and Miss Silly moment. Sister, you've been on my mind.